Hi guys, so in this video we will be discussing the main differences between IFOA and II. So there is a very common question especially among freshers that which society should we go for? Should we go for Institute and Faculty of Actuaries or should we go for Institute of Actuaries of India? Mainly the students are not clear basically that what exactly is the difference between the two societies. So we at the Catherine Junction sort of coming up with a video where we can explain you that what exactly is the difference between the two societies so moving forward like see you can see that both II and IFOI basically are statutory bodies so II is the actual body which headquarters in India I mean basically in Mumbai and IFOI again is a statutory body with headquarters in London so uh, being in, uh, in India only II currently has limited recognition but it is growing at a very rapid spree and is gaining recognition internationally as well IFOI since is in India in London so IFOA has global recognition now coming to exam pattern differences II exams are currently center based exams and IFOA exams are home based open book earlier we used to have uh, a center based exams of both II as well as IFOA but after COVID IFOA has moved to online pattern only that is conducting exams in online pattern home based exams but II exams are now center based exams now very important difference which actually is a, uh, is a difference of the two societies that if you want to enter to IFOI society as such there is no eligibility criteria as such there is no entrance exam so you can give any of the exam after taking membership and if you don't want to take membership first you can give CS1 or CM1 as a non-member exam IIA there is an entrance test that is actual common entrance test so you cannot go for further exams without clearing actual common entrance test. So this is the main difference that in order to become a member of IFOA, you can directly pick any of the exams. There is no entrance criteria. In order to become a member of II, there is an entrance criteria. IFOA has online exams. II has currently center-based exams. But since IFOA is in London, UK, it's an international statutory body. That's why it has global recognition mainly. Now the diet basically, the, uh, the months in which they conduct exams is IFOA conducts exams in April and September every year and II conducts exams in May and November. So in terms of exam pattern you know the difference, in terms of entrance criteria you know the difference, in terms of diet you know the difference. Now coming to the cost which is an, an important factor which needs to be taken into consideration when we are deciding to choose the society. So you can see the difference in the cost. So basically if you are giving exam from II society, you need to become a member first after clearing ACERT and second thing is that there is a compulsion to purchase the material. So that is why the cost for example for CS1, you can see the cost that exam fees is 5000 in Indian rupees and 7500 becomes the cost of the material that is a compulsion to purchase. In IFOI, when we talk about cost, you can see that we have different rates depending on whether you are reduced rate eligible or not. So reduced rate eligibility is dependent on your income criteria. So if a particular student has around less than 7 lakhs income per annum, he or she is eligible for reduced rate criteria. So if you are falling under this reduced rate eligibility, your IFOI fees becomes 180 pounds for CS1, CS2, CM1 or CM2, whichever paper you are planning. So 180 pounds is roughly around 18,000 in Indian rupees. And if we compare to II exam fees, that is around 12,500. So this is the difference in the cost. So earlier there used to be a massive difference, but now the difference still is there that II comparatively is cheaper compared to IFOA. Uh, so it's up to you whichever society you want to go for. See the difference, this is for the SP subjects, like the exam fees is 6,000, the material is 11,000, roughly it becomes 17,000 and in IFO if you are reduced rate criteria that becomes 18,000 and if you don't fall under that reduced rate eligibility, uh, the exam fees directly shoots up to 330 pounds. Now important thing is that uh, as we talked about the entrance criteria, that in II in order to enter you need to give ASIN. So after clearing ASIN you have to take their membership which costs you around 4000. And in IFOA like you have two options. If you are 
नॉन मेंबर की तरह एग्जाम दोगे तो यू कैन गिव इधर सी एस वन और सी एम वन इन केस यू आर गिविंग एग्जाम एज अ मेंबर देन फर्स्ट यू हैव टू टेक देयर मेंबरशिप सो इफ यू टॉक अबाउट मेंबरशिप दैट कॉस वन थर्टी फाइव पाउंड सो इफ आई कन्वर्ट इट इन टू इंटरन रुपीज दैट अराउंड फोर्टीन थाउजेंड सो फोर्टीन थाउजेंड इज द वन टाइम मेंबरशिप फीस दैट वी पे टू आई एफ ओ इन ऑर्डर टू बिकम अ मेंबर ऑफ आई एफ ओ ए फोर थाउजेंड इज अ फीस दैट वी पे टू आई आई आफ्टर क्लियरिंग दी एस एट एग्जाम नाउ कमिंग टू रेन्यूअल फीस दिस इज द वन टाइम मेंबरशिप फीस दैट वी इनकर एट द टाइम ऑफ कमेंसिंग आर सोसाइटी एग्जामिनेशन नाउ एवरी ईयर वी हैव टू रिन्यू आर मेंबरशिप so subscription rate is 2000 for ir students and it's 73 pounds for ifo students so 73 pounds is roughly around 7500 rupees for ifo students so ifo comparatively is expensive in terms of cost but uh, if you talk about exam pattern and if you talk about difficulty level of exam so ifo exams are bit uh, uh, manageable given that they are online but now i exams are uh, center based so it's slightly difficult and if we talk about result criteria uh, the earlier the sample size of ii aims to be very less so uh, like if there are only limited students who are giving exams from ii and then only limited students pass it's difficult to comment on results because ifo is since it's an international body to uh, students from all over the world give exams so that's why the number of students who give exams also is higher and the number of students who clear exams is also higher but nowadays ii also is gaining uh, recognition in terms of global as well plus in terms of improving the exam pattern as well so ii passing percentage is also improving so these are two different sanitary bodies which are recognized in almost all the companies so it's up to you whichever company or whichever uh, uh, society you want to go for you need to understand that with society and need to choose now one important thing which is a common question nowadays among students is that do we get exemption from the other society if we clear exam from one of the society so earlier there used to be exemption as you can see ifo states that if you join before 2019 that means if you were a member of ifo before 2019 and if you sat any exams from iir till 31st december 2021 you will be eligible to gain exemption of that exam from ifo similar is the case with iii that subject wise exemptions for examinations passed from ifo are granted for all the examinations passed on or before 31st december 2021 That means if you are an old member and आप भी आपके exams 2021 तक आपने जितने भी exams दिए थे both the societies were giving recognition for that but new members are not getting any recognition so if you joined after 2019 you have to choose which society you have to go for because for example if you clear one exam from IFO that will not be exempted as of now from IIR because mutual recognitions mutual exemptions are not there an important thing is uh, a slightly important thing for uh, higher students like for so uh, students who go for higher exams that in ii currently is not granting exemptions to ca2 and cp3 from september 17 to december 18 exam sessions that means if you sat for cp3 or ca2 in ifo between 2018 and 19 currently you are not getting exemptions from that from ii so rest it's a very important thing is that members only have time till 31st december 2022 to claim your exemptions so agar aapke koi bhi exams different society se cleared hai and aapko dusri society mein us exam ko exempt karwana hai make sure that you are doing that before 31st december 2022 because ifo ne bhi clearly bol diya hai that any application received after 31st december 2022 will not be accepted for exemption as of now this is as per their website so if you wish to claim any exemption from ifo do apply for your exemption before 31st december 20 22 so in this short video i have highlighted all the basic differences basically between ii and ifo still in case you have any questions or any doubts relating to which society you should plan make sure that you are reaching out to us on our mention number and our counselors will be detailing you for the same so that's it for the day thank you